What's up you guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a long-term review on my YT Capra Elite Enduro Bike. Now in this video, you can expect to get the honest opinion of a guy who bought the bike and has been riding it for the last six months. So let's start with the spec and then we'll move on to how this thing rides. This thing comes spec'd with a Fox 38 factory fork, Fox X2 factory rear shock, Fox transfer post, all in that beautiful matching Kashima coating. It's got a Rinthal stem, Rinthal carbon fat bars, E13 LG1 race carbon wheel set, SRAM code RSC4 piston brakes, 200 mil rotors front and back, SRAM X01 drivetrain with the E13 chain guide bash guard, and I've also added on a Ergon SM Enduro comp saddle, Crank Bro Stamp 7 pedals, Oil Slick Titanium Bolts from Better Bolts, gotta check those things out, and of course no Fox Fork is complete without the bolt-on mudguard. After adding all these parts to the dark slate colored carbon frame, you get a beautiful bike that's definitely worth bragging rights at the trailhead. And all these top of the line components come to you at an amazing direct sales price, which is why you might want to choose something like this YT Capra over a similar build from a big box brand. But now that we've covered the spec, let's go into the geo. I'm going to throw a couple numbers at you and why I think it changes how this bike handles on the trail. Now the YT Capra comes in a size small through a size XXL, which is a slightly shorter reach and overall wheelbase when you compare it to other brands. For instance, the size extra large capper I'm riding has a 480 reach, 440 chainstay for an overall wheelbase of 1256. When you compare that to something like the Trek Slash with a 516 reach, 437 chainstays, and overall 1305 wheelbase, you can see how this bike may handle just a little bit different. Now this slightly shorter reach and overall wheelbase make this a perfect bike for the person that wants a more playful, fun, active ride down the mountain, the type of person like me that's always looking for stuff to jump off of, always searching for the jump lines on the trail or the massive drops to send it off, and you got that 170 mil, 170 mil travel to soak up any of those gnarly hits. Take a look at my previous videos and you'll see the YT Capra flying over road gaps at Mount Shasta, hitting huge jump lines in Bend, Oregon, even climbing technical steeps on my local trails. And after pushing this bike to the limits, I came to one conclusion. This bike will take anything I throw at it and ask for more. All right, now it's time to dive just a little deeper into how this thing climbs, how this thing descends, and then I'm gonna tell you guys who I think this bike is perfect for. Now on the way up, keep in mind you're riding a 170 mil, 170 mil travel enduro bike. So don't expect to keep up with your XC bros or set any Strava times on this thing. However, the YT Virtual 4 Link rear suspension design offers a high amount of anti-squat and any little bit of pedal bob you might get can quickly be neutralized by flipping that climb switch on the X2 rear shock that firms up the suspension. And the only major complaint I really have about this bike while climbing is it does tend to get a little bit hung up on those square Come edge on. rocks. So when you're climbing through those more technical sections, there are a few times when that held me back. You got that flip chip design that allows you to steepen the head tube angle by 0.5 degrees and raise the bottom bracket. This thing's also got 170 mil cranks, so I very rarely had pedal strikes on this bike. Combine that with the X01 12-speed Eagle drivetrain, and you got the widest range available to climb up any steep fire road or nasty technical trail, which will get you to the top where the real fun begins on this bike, the downhill. Riding downhill on this bike is truly the most fun I've ever had on the mountain. This bike picks up speed with ease, allows you to plow through any rock garden with confidence, pops easily to clear any jump in your way, it's got that 170-170 travel to soak up any nasty hit. Got it! The full carbon build with that Fox 38 fork gives you a stiff, responsive, 
confidence inspiring ride that really helps you push your limits and brings you to places you never thought you could ride before. Have I hyped this bike up enough yet? Well, we're about to get real honest and I'm gonna tell you some of the gripes I have with this bike, starting with the tires. This bike comes with a Maxxis Minion DHR2 in the back with the EXO Plus casing and the Maxxis Asagai up front with the EXO casing. And while I love this tire combo, the EXO Plus EXO casing option simply is not enough for what this bike was designed for. After just a couple rides at Mount Bachelor, I blew out my rear tire. I was so happy that these E13 carbon wheels held up. In fact, I couldn't even find a ding or nick anywhere from where they hit rock. And now I'm running the double down casing in the back with the EXO Plus up front. I might even go to a DH casing in the back and a double down up front. Go ahead, leave a comment below. Let me know what casing you guys run or if you think I need to go to a DH in the back. And that brings me to my second complaint, which is probably the first complaint for most of you guys about this bike, no water bottle. Now I've gotten used to riding with a pack or leaving my water bottle at the bottom of those lift park runs. So it's really not an issue for me. However, I know that can be a deal breaker for most of you guys. And that's something that they've fixed with a newer iteration of this Capra. So while it is a major complaint, I'm gonna keep it as a minor gripe since they've fixed that in the newer Capra model. So who do I think this bike's perfect for? If you're that guy that wants the highest end spec at that direct sales price, then this bike is definitely for you. And who doesn't wanna save money? I think this bike is more for that person that wants the full squish, playful, enduro bike that they can ride on the jump line, bring to the bike park, ride with their downhill friends, and smash down anything in their way, yet still, has the full gear range to get you to the top of the mountain so you can head out and ride with your buddies on the trail bikes and have this as your one and only bike to smash anything in your way. Walk it out, walk it out. Woo. Hey you guys, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, please smash that like button and leave a comment below. I always appreciate the feedback. I really appreciate you guys, because remember, it's not about me, it's about you guys getting out there riding and having some fun, people. Woo.